Am I live? I'm alive, I think. Um, hey guys, uh, what's up? How are you doing this beautiful day? I'm excited to be here, Facebook living it with you guys. Um, let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if you guys can see me. Oh, people are saying hello. Um, so I'm super excited. Uh, today's a big day. It's the release of my music video, Hold My Heart. For those of you who uh, don't know, but um, this video, I. I've been super excited about it, um, and uh, it's one of my favorite ones I've done for this album so far. I filmed it months ago, and I've been just waiting for the perfect moment to release it. And so, um, and also, this is one of my favorite songs on the album too. And so, um, so yeah. In a minute, here we'll be pulling in ZZ Ward, which I'm super excited to have her talk with us. It's almost like our own little talk show today. I get to pull in ZZ. Um, and uh, we're going to talk to her about how it was writing the song. But do you guys have any questions? Um, first of all, I'm seeing people from Turkey, Finland. Um, I see someone from Orlando and Canada and Vermont. Oh, my gosh. It's Mexico. But um, first of all, for those of you, we've only toured the U.S. so far. Don't worry. The rest of the world, we're coming. We're coming to Europe in the, uh, in the spring. So we'll be in Europe soon, and then we're going to be planning the rest of our travels around the world shortly after that. So, um, so yeah, for those of you who were at the show um, in the U.S., what did you guys think? And um, I have to say, Hold My Heart was one of my favorite numbers in the live show. So, um, so yeah, well, you guys are talking so fast. Um, but, uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, do we oh Luna, you know, it's funny. We're at my I'm at my parents' house right now in Arizona after um the tour. We ended here in Phoenix was the last show of the tour. And so we just I decided just to go home with my parents. I just went home with them, drove with mom and dad, came home, had a home cooked meal, went to bed after the show. It was kind of awesome. Um so yeah, I'm in Arizona right now. Luna's outside, I kid you not. She is uh running around in the grass. My parents have a really big like um, acre and a half backyard and um, Luna is I couldn't get her to come inside because she was laying down next to a cow and she had apparently made a new friend I'm going to have to go outside after this I didn't have time because I, I wanted to start the live chat um, but literally I was running back inside wishing I'd had my phone so I could take a camera of Luna and like laying down next to this cow for fun anyways um yes I, I see some i've seen several people ask me to come back to mexico city and i am planning on it don't you worry i will be there soon um and uh yeah um i guess i'm just waiting on i want to make sure um that we are ready i know we're they're having a few technical difficulties as always but uh <laughs> trying to get um trying to get zz on board right now apparently um so as soon as i hear that she's ready we will chime her in um but uh, do we have any fans i know that this is really cool today because we have the ability to bring in video messages from some of you guys the fans so um yeah are we ready to pull anybody in i'm gonna see if anybody is ready to to chat via video if you guys want to join us for a chat and uh and talk with me in front of everybody for all the rest of the fans uh, Come to Mexico, please. You guys, I will be coming to Mexico. Don't worry. I see a lot of people asking for that. So um, I'm planning on it. I can't wait to come. Um, but yeah, let me see if anybody's ready to be joined in via chatting. Because like I said, if you guys go to the link in the description, um, you can uh, we can bring you on board through a video chat and you, through the um, Smile Time app that we're using. Um, but yeah, does anyone have any questions? I guess I could just start talking about the music video, which is about to be released in less than an hour. I'm super excited about it. By the way, everybody, it is 11-11 on Pacific Coast time, which means that we can all make a wish because we're experiencing it together. So no matter where you are in the world and what time it is, it's 11-11 on the Pacific Coast. And so everybody, make a wish. Sterling Heights Unite, wish together. Okay, I am so, I guess maybe I'm slightly strange, but I love making wishes. What, like, 
Um, if you hold your breath through a tunnel when you're driving, that gives you the ability to make a wish. You've earned it. 11-11 um, is a wish moment. Um, a shooting star, you can make a wish. Um, anyways, um, but yes, so um, this video I, I was really excited about because it's, if you couldn't tell from the pictures, I'm going to give it away. Um, it's an Alice in Wonderland themed video, and I play the part of the white rabbit. Um, but one thing that was kind of cool about this video is it's a little bit backwards. Alice is actually Al, and so instead of Alice being a girl, Al is a um, our Alice is Al, and it's a boy, and he's chasing the bunny through Wonderland. So um, it's kind of a reverse role, and you know the guy is actually chasing the girl um, as she leads him through her magical land. He doesn't know that she knows that he is following her, but the bunny knows. Anyways, and I'm actually leading him through the woods on purpose, even though he thinks he's just following me. So, kind of fun. Um, let's see, gosh, I see. Um, how did Luna do as a director? Oh, yes, Luna directed this film, as you all saw on her Instagram. But to be honest, Luna thinks she directs every one of my videos. It's how we get her to, you know, be excited about the shoot. We set her in the director's chair for a couple minutes, and she thinks that she directed the whole thing. It's, it's really great. I can't say that if she's around. But, yeah, Luna thinks she directs the, most of my videos. Um, uh, da -ka -da -ka -da. Uh, oh, ZZ says, hi, everybody. Don't worry. She's coming soon. They're just trying to work out the kinks so we can, like, bring her on and ZZ and I can chat together. So if you guys have any questions for myself and ZZ, um, then we would love to hear them. Um, when do I go back on tour? I go back on tour at the beginning of the year. Um, and we're doing a couple Christmas shows in December, but then we hit Europe in February. Cannot wait already. Um, wow, these are these questions are just going so fast. Keep up voting questions that you guys like. Um, let's see. Oh, dear. Uh, any funny moments while writing this song? Oh, that's a good question. I'll ask, I'll ask ZZ if she can think of any funny moments while writing this song. So I know we always laugh a lot in writing sessions. Um, Da, 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 da. Any other upvoted questions? Oh, my show in Phoenix was awesome. Why, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Okay, any other? Oh, I think ZZ's joining us right now. I'm sorry for the technical difficulty. ZZ, there you are. Can you see me? I see you. I Hi. See you. How do I move you so that you're bigger on the screen? Hi, thanks for joining in. Hi. Hi. I'm so excited. This is so fun. I've been listening, I've been listening to you and um, <laughs> ready to come on and talk. <laughs> Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I was running out of things to ramble about. I was like, ah, oh, where's ZZ? Where's she gonna come on? Um, but yeah, everybody already knows ZZ. So um, but I'm super excited to have you here joining me because I wanted to talk a little bit about you know, what it was like working together. And people have asked me multiple times and like, we do like a question and answer meet and greet and I get asked a lot, like, so how did you meet DZ? And so, um, I don't know, do you remember the first time we met? I was oh thinking about this morning. Now I'm trying to remember, I, well, I feel like I met you before that festival. We were at Billboard Top 100 Festival or Hot 100 Festival, but I feel like I met you before that. Did I come to your show at the Greek before that? Yeah, that's where I met you. I remember it was really funny. So I'm backstage and um, I knew ZZ was coming to my show. I like her music. So I was like already a fan. And um, my manager tells me ZZ Ward wants to come back and say hi really quick before the show. And it just so happened that when ZZ came back, I was literally upside down, like in a, like leaned all over because um, Michelle was braiding my hair and getting me ready for the show. Yeah. And, uh, ZZ walked back and I'm like upside down. Just we're trying to have a normal conversation. And, um, Anyways, it was kind of funny, but that was the first time. That was the first time I met you, and I remember seeing your show for the first time at the Greek, and it was, like, amazing. I was so blown away. And oh, so that was, yeah, yeah, that was the first time, and then we hung out again at at, um, at the Billboard Festival. Yeah, and I remember that was funny because I really wanted to see, you know, ZZ had come to my show, and I liked her music, and so I wanted to see her live. And so um, we were both per performing at the Billboard Fest. And, um, but yeah, I flew in a day early because I really wanted to see you perform. So, 
Um, so that was really fun. I remember I was blown away and I was like, this girl is awesome. I, I have to write with her for my new album. Um, and yeah, songwriting, I have to admit, was kind of, um, at least in terms of like lyrics and, you know, writing in that way was really new for me when I started this album. And I think one of the first songs that I wrote for the album was Hold My Heart. So I would love to hear from your perspective, like, I don't know, what was the experience like for you working? Cause like, I was kind of a newbie, you know, and I feel like no, it was I'm surprised great. to hear that. I'm <laughs> surprised to hear you say that because you came in there like a total pro. Like, I think, <laughs> like, first off, I was so excited to, um, to write with you, but you know, you never know if it's going to end up on the album or not. So right. I think I really was hoping to just kind of support you and your vision for what you wanted your album to be. And I was just so pleasantly surprised when we went into that session because Lindsay knew like exactly what she wanted, which I always tell people because it's true. Like you are such a pro you knew exactly what you wanted the song to be about. And like you wrote a, like a lot of it, like a lot of the lyrics, a lot of the melodies. And I felt like, you know, it was kind of like us just really supporting you. I think that's the most important thing too, when like it's for, you know, someone else's project is because it has to mean something to you and to your whole vision of what you want your album to be. So um, I'm, you know, I, it was such a fun session and I was just so thrilled that it, it, that it like went this far and that we have a video coming out now. So like, I never would have imagined it to like, you never know, but I mean, it, it's really been amazing. So that's kind of like, um, a little bit like in general about, you know, to me what the session was like, but. Yeah. Well, I remember it's funny cause I, um, you know, when you write a song, especially since I'm not singing it, you know, I'm always like. You know, I'm not sure who's going to sing this. Like, maybe it will be ZZ. Maybe it will be somebody else. But I remember as soon as you went in to, like, cut the, the demo. So how it works is we wrote the song, and then ZZ went in to record it just so we had, like, an example of this is what we want to finish. And as you were singing it, I was like, oh, my gosh, nobody else can sing this song. Like, it has to be ZZ. It, like, just the flavor and the texture of your voice. I was immediately like, yep, done. Like, ZZ. <laughs> um, and I remember it was also really funny because um, we wrote this song, you know, like I said, it was one of the first songs I finished for the album. And then, you know, gosh, like six months later was when we filmed the music video or something like that. Yeah. And I on set, you we were like, oh, my gosh, I haven't really heard the song until I started listening <laughs> to it before, you know, because, you know, like you said, you don't know if it's going to be chosen and you just kind of write yeah. a lot of things. And, you know, yeah. we all move on. You don't know what's going to happen to it. And you were saying you listened to it the night before the shoot for the first time since. And you're like, this is a really good song. Like, I really like this. Yeah, <laughs> I, totally. like, I didn't want to get, you know, you never want to get too attached to something. But I definitely, like, have listened to it, like, over and over and over again. Like, trying to, like, cram the lyrics in, you know. And, um, yeah, did you have to do that with, like, the parts? Like, with any of the violin parts? Absolutely. Before I shoot a music video, I always go back and I'm like, what well, were those parts, you know, unless I've been, because I mean, if you are not performing it, you know, you write it and then you move on, you like move on to another song and it's, you know, once you're happy with it, you kind of forget it. And so totally the same thing. I'm always like trying to remember the parts and like re-listening to it. It's, it's always funny that you can forget your own like writing. I know, it's like a whole new thing. <laughs> well, and also you've been writing a ton over the last few months for your project, right? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I'm shooting right now, so I'm not on the road really. Like doing like a performance with you the other night was like, you know, it was like I did a performance like the week before, or at that like two days before in Austin, and like other than that, like I've just been like in the studio. So right, yeah, a lot of writing. So it's such a different part of like um, the the process, you know. Like, are you? But what's your favorite part? Is it being in the studio or being on the road? Oh gosh, um, being on the road, I love putting, you know, I love taking what you've worked on for months, like, but it's actually really hard. The studio is very hard for me. I, you know, I don't feel like I feel 100% comfortable there, but what do you think? Do you like writing more or do you like performing more? Um, I don't know if what I like more, I, but I do get like, I, I, I like the, the change in both. Like I, I, you know, if I'm in one place too long, it's like, I want to be on the road. And then sometimes when I'm on the road, I feel like, 
it's it's such an extroverted thing when you're performing and you're really connecting with your fans every night and then to like go and try and like get introverted and like write something i i feel is like such an adjustment so yeah. um i like both but definitely i feel like you know it's impossible to like have both going on simultaneously totally yeah i mean it does kind of one feeds the love of the other i feel like writing and being in the studio makes me crave even more i'm like excited to share what i've been working on and then and vice versa so um, and do you know when your album is coming out or are you still kind of because I know forever I didn't even know when mine was coming out, but next year. Yeah. Sure, next year, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when next year, but definitely next year. And okay. I think we'll be releasing some music um, at the top of the year. So oh, that's awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear. I can't wait to hear because um, I was talking to, you know, we have a mutual couple mutual friends and one was telling them, telling me that they've heard some of your new stuff and they're like, it is so good. Like, so uh, I can't wait uh, to hear because I hear great things from multiple people about it. Um, uh, so well, yeah, I'm excited, you know, it's like, it's like my baby. So I don't, I don't know but I mean, um, but it's, it's, uh, it's exciting, but you know what I was thinking you did, you did bring something up and I was watching you before I was on and you, Someone asked, um, what was a funny moment from the studio? Did oh, someone yeah. yeah. What I was thinking is, this is really funny because Lindsay was sewing her Halloween it. costume in the studio during our session. Like, queen of multitasking over here is also a seamstress, apparently. It was, I was, like, blown away. Like, the stitches were perfect. I was sewing my Mary Poppins costume. I was sewing the lace on my shirt. And wow. how many is this? Is Zizi has so many hats. Like, that's her thing. She has so many cute hats. And I asked her, I was like, do you ever have, like, a Mary Poppins, you know, like, an extra hat I could borrow? She brought me a hat. Like, we just barely met. And she brings me a hat. She's like, just keep it. So I have, I am <laughs> lovely. So I have one of Zizi's hats that I wore for Halloween to be Mary Poppins. I still have it. Anyway. It was such a good costume. Thank you. I was very proud of that costume. Um, you know, and it it's it all started there in the studio. Hold my heart. <laughs> um, also, we need to talk about um, we performed together live in the LA show. It was such a fun surprise. Zizi comes out as we start the number. Like the audience had no idea that she's even there, and it was like such a cool moment as like the audience here like realizes because the rest of the show is just all either instrumental or you know vocal tracks. And so to have like you singing there live with us was so awesome. And the dancers and I were talking about it after the show, how like we completely, like you sounded so good. You sounded exactly like the record to the point where we get so into the choreography and everything that I kept having to remember that like, oh my gosh, she's there. She's singing live. <laughs> You know, some cool like, whoa, but I'm not like, <laughs> there's something like that that isn't on the record. And it reminded me all of a sudden, like, oh, yeah, she's here. She's singing. But it was so good that, like, I don't know, it, it was just amazing. So you guys have to hear her live. And how was that experience? Because you were such a pro. You came into it, like, you know, you got your staging cues and everything within, like, one practice round. Like, anyways, what was that like for you? Um, You know, it was so fun. And it was, like, um, it was just like, I, um, like that your show is like got so many amazing pieces and things going on where there's choreography and there's dancing and you have this screen with like this incredible animation going on. And like, so I was just like really trying to like focus on singing because I really want to be like, whoa, look at this magic show going on and like look at all this cool stuff. Like, you know, it was like, like I wanted to watch. It was so awesome. Like I remember at some point you were like, now you know you've seen the magic show and i was like oh uh, i didn't even like look once because i was like i knew i wasn't supposed to like look at what was going on although i so wanted to like see the tricks i was like what is this um it was awesome though like so much fun oh, well thank um, you so, so much it was awesome well, what, it was super fun. It was funny because you were like, am I supposed to be watching you or should I be watching the, like, interact with the crowd? I was like, oh, yeah, interact with the crowd. Don't watch us. Like, you do you, you know. But, um, yeah, so fun. Oh, it looks like we have another person joining us, um, joining us for a live chat where maybe they'll be asking us some questions live. It looks like Scarlet T is coming in. Um, but also before, well, it looks like she's 
coming. Um, someone asked, Lindsay, will there be a DVD of the Shatter Me Tour like the one you did at, at London? And there won't be one of the Shatter Me Tour. We've ended that tour, but this is the Brave Enough Tour. And we filmed it the night that ZZ was there. So you guys will get to see the version that was like, you know, a one one time only thing where ZZ performed with us and this song, we captured it with her. So anyways, I'm super excited about it. Um, and talk about nervous. I was so nervous that day and I apologize. I, I was so out of it because I was just terrified of like the pressure of like a live shoot and you know, the LA show, but um, it all worked out really well. So I was happy. Couldn't tell at all. You're a pro. Oh, okay. For sure. Yes. Um, but yeah, I really hope that we get to, you know, at some point, I don't know, perform together again, or maybe even, fingers crossed, maybe we'll even be able to tour together at some point, you know. Um, yeah, that. That'd be so fun. Oh, hey, we have a guest. Can you see our guest, ZZ? Yeah, I can. Oh, I can. can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, wow, we can hear you. This is so cool. I've never done this before. Um, <laughs> Well, cool. Where are you joining us from, Thomas? Um, uh, Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Whoa! No way. How cool is that? Yeah. I know. I love Australia. Zizi, have you been to Australia? No, I really want to go though. Okay, we'll tour together too. Then <laughs> we'll tour down under. That's so rad. Um. Well, awesome. What time of the day is it in Australia? It is 5.30 currently. 5.30. Well, yes. evening for you. It's, I consider this the morning for us. Are you in LA, Zizi? Yeah. Nice. I'm in, uh, I'm in Phoenix, so I'm not far. Um, well, cool. Um, let's see. Do you have any, any thoughts or questions for us today? Uh, yeah, I have a couple of questions. Are you going to tour to Australia? We will. Um, I we don't have it booked yet, but I'm sure we'll be planning it soon. And Thomas, you'll be the first one to know about it <laughs> via social media and Twitter. <laughs> and also, I'm thinking of learning the violin, and I was wondering if you had any tips on um, for when I do. When you start the violin, um, I would say just kind of basic musical tips. Um, you know. Make sure to learn like your scales. And um, I, I learned the Suzuki method myself. It's a series of books you can buy, and I recommend those. But good luck to you with the violin. Thanks. And what about, have you seen any of our posts about, um, so Hold My Heart is coming out today, and I've been po uh, posting pictures on Instagram because I was too excited. I couldn't keep it a secret. I had to give out some spoilers. But um, have you seen any of the pictures we've been posting for it? Yeah, I've seen a lot of them, yeah. Well, I'm super excited about it. Um, do you have any questions that you want us to um, talk about the video at all? Ask your chance. What was that? If you had any questions, oh, he's gone. Oh, we lost him. Well, bye, Thomas. Bye, Thomas. Thanks for joining us from Australia. That's pretty rad. I know. Let's do this again. Um, but uh, I will say, we got to play with such fun makeup for the video shoot. It was awesome. We got to be like kind of extreme. Like, I mean, most a lot of times in music videos, you're just going for glam or, but this time we got like, like ZZ had these cool like sparkles all over. Like, how did you feel when you got all made up? I've never done makeup like that before unless it was like for Halloween or something. Yeah. So, like, I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but it was like, it was amazing. Like, it was so cool. Like, um, oh, are we allowed to like talk about it like that? Having my face, like this makeup on my face was very different for me, but like super fun. And like, um, it was just, um, you know, uh, it was just really cool watching you also in your element, which is obviously, um, your artistry is so unique and, um, very incredible, but different from mine. So for us, I think to come together on this video, was just like you know such a cool collaboration too for me to like watch you um with your choreography and things like that it was it was really wonderful awesome well you know that's one of the things that i loved about this collaboration in particular from all the ones on the album was is the fact that our styles are so different like you know listening to you on hold my heart is very different from listening to you on your music just like stylistically 
but it yeah. works so well. Like it still represents you in a really like it sounds, you know, it's easy, but at the same time, it's like just it's Lindsay. And so I think that's what made this collaboration so cool is that it's two very different worlds coming together. And I remember, um, you know, like when you first get makeup like that done, it feels so over the top and almost you look in the mirror and you're like, I look terrifying. Like, that's how <laughs> awesome it is. But then you see it like on set and suddenly like it works, you know, because of the surroundings and the special effects. And I have to tell you guys all, Zizi looks so gorgeous in this video. You look oh, so no, gorgeous. You look gorgeous. A little I'm white really gorgeous bunny. Oh, <laughs> another funny thing, Zizi watched this happen. Um, so the choreography was, you know, you know, there's a lot of choreography that me and these two dancers are doing. And um, they didn't tell me this until I got there. We wanted it to be a forest that we were filming in. And, but they put like sod all over the ground and gravel all over the set. And so me and these two dancers are just sliding all over the place as we were trying to dance in heels um in like dirt and sod and like chunks of wood because they made literally a forest floor on the set and i was imagining just dirt but anyway <laughs> we were slight it was so hard to one dance but then to edit this video in between all the like whoop, like <laughs> the little slips and the slides it ended up it ended up look, looking awesome but um it's very different rehearsing in a dance studio and then playing in a forest so Zizi got to watch us slip all over the place as we dance. I'm I'm sure it looked really funny. They're so good though you guys honestly like the only oh, person that knows they were slipping is Lindsay like that's amazing but I totally hear you like I you know it, it, it makes it a lot different when you're in a forest. You guys should have just practiced in a forest Lindsay. Oh, would have been saved me on rehearsal fees for a studio for sure anyway. <laughs> um, but uh, let's see we have some other oh I think someone else is trying to join us but yeah if you guys have any questions you can write them in the comments off to the side um what and let, let's see someone's asking look Anastasia is asking what were the difficulties in making the brave enough album um well you know one of the difficulties is um I wanted there to be lots of collaborations with singers on it and I wanted to write you know in a different way like that and you know i think it was a little bit of a challenge for myself and you know maybe zizi you could tell us for the other writers i kind of would describe to them that i wanted it to be a duet almost between a vocalist and a violin and that is a very unique way of writing for a lot of people uh, i mean i think for most people like have, was that kind of a challenge for you zizi and trying to like as we we're writing trying to make sure there was room for everything i think because knowing like how unique of an artist you are, I think for me, um, and I felt this from you too, there's somewhat of an open mind when you go into a collaboration like that where I kind of looked to you for um, really what you were looking for and where I would sing. And you did kind of describe this duet thing, which I thought was such a really cool idea and approach to um, writing the song. Uh, but I really felt like, uh, you know, I think it, it took both of us kind of being open to like trying things and seeing what worked and um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was like a huge kind of experiment. I felt every time I went to the studio, especially I worked with a lot of different writers, you know, and different collaborators. And yeah, it was kind of this like, let's see where this goes. Like maybe let's leave this. Like a lot of times we would write the lyrics first, like for Hold My Heart, we wrote the lyrics first and then we literally left little holes all over the place like okay the violin will do something here um wow. we left a little hole here this will be a post chorus and um you know i just went into the microphone you know booth and just started plucking the violin and that's how it turned into that little plucking section and you know it was uh it was just kind of this big back and forth like experimentation when also like i won't forget when you got out the violin like everybody just got quiet in the room like it was like it was so cool because like you know Lindsay's like got such an incredible presence even before she picks up the violin so we're writing the song we're going through it and then kind of at a certain point I think uh then you were like felt maybe inspired to get it out and kind of start jamming some ideas but we were all like we're like well like she's so dope it's it's crazy oh, like how talented you are. So I remember that we were all like like kind of mesmerized when you got out the violin <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. You know, I never see that because I just got it out and went into the little studio room. So I'm just like yeah. and playing, like, oh, no. Like, so that's, that's really funny to hear. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I, if, unless there's any other questions, I don't. I think they've been trying to add people to. We've been trying to add people to chat, but it's. Uh, um, I think maybe just uh, internet reception in certain areas are making it difficult. But um, let's see. But let, are you planning some more collaborations together, like some new music videos? Hmm. Well, you know, at the time, who knows? Maybe we will. We'll see how this one goes. So if you guys really like this one, then share it. Write in the comments that you want more. And Luna uh, needs a break. wait, what? Luna needs a break from directing for a second. Like we're kind of following Luna's lead, right? Yeah, it's whenever she was ready to step in that director's chair again. Oh, and can we also talk about uh, Muddy? Zizi yeah. has the cutest <laughs> dog named Muddy Waters, and he was at our session actually in. That was right before I got Luna, and that was the one of the things I was like, this is so fun, having a dog in the studio. Yeah, it was right before. I forgot you met Muddy. That's so funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was, like, really happy for you when you got Luna because, you know, puppies change your life and, like, having them on the road mm -hmm. with you and everything. And honestly, like, I don't know if you know this, but I could hear Luna in your dressing room at, at the show, and she had the cutest whine. Like, she was just like, Meow! like. I'm not going to impersonate it too much on this on this chat. <laughs> oh. It was so cute because when Lindsay was on stage, Luna was just like, Mom, where are you? It was so cute. Oh, that's so funny. I mean, that's so sad. But it's okay. <laughs> I come back every night. You know what? And, well, Luna may have had a little part in the show, too. So you never I know. That little star. I know. She was She was getting, you know, first she didn't like the stage, but she was getting quite, quite accustomed to it because she knew she got chicken every night when she'd come <laughs> They'll make any dog love the stage, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was fun having like at the LA show, we had Luna and Muddy backstage. It was just like everybody was happy. Dogs make people dog happy. Party. <laughs> dog therapy. Um, ooh, what songs have you been listening to lately? Um, let's see. What have I been listening to lately? Uh, ZZ, is there anything that's been inspiring you lately? Um, yeah, I really like this new album by Lindsey Sterling that I've been listening to. <laughs> No, it's so cool though because at your show it was really like it was like I was hearing these songs I've been like listening to in my car and I was just like yes I know this one I know this one um, yeah uh, but uh, I don't know honestly like I don't know about what you've been listening to but sometimes when I'm in the studio I end up working on my music so much that it's I so, listen to that much stuff I know it's it's terrible and I especially when you're writing or when you're like on the road like I'm like oh no like I, I just get so into like what you're creating and what you're doing that you stop searching um let's see um <clears throat> what is this uh, uh, I will say the Federal Empire opened for us on this this tour and I love their music they just dropped their first album and um, I liked it so much that almost every night the dancers and I would go backstage and we would like warm up and stretch while listening to their set. So I would say the Federal Empire, they just dropped their new music and it's really great. So you should listen to some of their stuff. And I will, we will get back to you on what we're listening to because I'm drawing a huge blank right now. Tribe Called Quest's new album is pretty amazing. I'll just say that. But that's one album I've definitely been listening to. So there you go. Um, <clears throat> It looks like Zach is trying to join us for a chat. So if Zach comes through, we'll talk to him. And if not, then uh, um, we might just, you know, say, say la vie. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, come back. They're going so fast. so fast. I, like, literally can't even read one. Yeah. If you put your little cursor on it, you know, your little little hand, little arrow, then you can slow them down and go up and look. And scroll through. Um, someone was asking if there's going to be a Lost Girls music video. Um, yes. I'm hoping to film that actually decently soon. So stay tuned. I've already got a plan. I actually wrote that song because I had a music video in mind. So that's, um, oh, and also I will say while we were in the studio writing this song, ZZ, I feel like we were like brainstorming just like music video concepts. And I feel like the Queen of Hearts came up. And it's just funny because we started talking about like, this yeah. feels really like Mad Hatter, Queen of Hearts. And we like started to riff on that. Um, cause I, I don't know about you, but I love thinking of visuals as I write. Um, do you like to do that when you write? I do. Um, I think for me, like when you get a song that means something to you, your mind just goes crazy with like a visual ideas. I definitely, uh, remember you talking about all of those visual references and 
I hadn't thought about that until you just said it. So I think it's really cool that like all of that came to fruition and like, you know, it really was your vision from the, from the, from the get go. And so it's amazing to see like it all, you know, uh, materialize. Yeah. It's, it's so interesting how, yeah, it just things, if you see it, it can happen. And that's why I always like tell my fans or anybody like, see what you want to be like imagine it visualize it because you know you naturally gravitate to whatever you see whether you actually see it or whether you see it in your mind and it's always so crazy to me when like you know i'm in the studio writing a song with someone we like start riffing on ideas and then you know i feel like before you know it i'm standing on set in the costume and like wow this came to life and you know anyways it's um it's it's amazing it's it's so exciting to see that happen so for anyone out there, like visualize what you want to be, visualize who you want to become or where you want to go and, you know, see it and things do become reality. So, um, but uh, let's see, I think, uh, I think that's about all we have for you guys today. But Zizi, thank you so much for, you know, taking a break from the studio and, and coming and joining us. Uh, I can't wait to hear your music and I can't wait because in a matter of minutes, Hold My Heart is going to go live, and yay! <laughs> so exciting! So, um, and thank you, of course, to all the fans for joining in and uh, hanging out with us today. So, stay tuned. Thanks, Lindsay. Thank Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, man, I never know how to end this. <laughs>